hello everyone you are welcome how to solve and find the value of a b and c from this nice algebra math problem where the product of a b is 100 b c is 200 and c a is 300 so what we'll do here and how can we find the value of a b c from these three equations now here first of all we will write solution and after the solution we will rewrite these equations in the solution again so the equations are the product of a times b is 100 the product of b times c is 200 and the product of c times a is 300 so here we will make a supposition let us suppose this is equation number first this is equation number second and this is equation number third and to find the value of a here we will multiply equation number first and equation number third and divide the product with equation number second so what we will do here here we will multiply equation number first with equation number third and we will divide the product by equation number second now equation number first here first we will multiply the left hand side so the left hand side of equation number first is a times b times now the left hand side of equation number third is ca divided by left hand side of equation number second is bc is equal to now we will multiply their values which are in the right hand side so the value of ab is 100 times the value of ca is 300 and the value of bc is 200 so here we will do some cancellation in the left hand side and in the right hand side in the left hand side we will cancel this c with c and b with b in the right hand side we will cancel these two zeros with these zeros and here 2 times 1 is 2 2 times 50 is 100 so this will become a times a now a times a is a square is equal to and here 50 times 3 as left in the right hand side and here to find the value of a we will multiply these two numbers so this will become a square is equal to and it will become 3 times 0 is 0 3 times 5 is 15 so it is 150 and to find the value of a we will take square root on both sides because there is a square over a so here this square and this square root will be cancelled so a will be a is equal to plus minus square root of 150 which we can also write in decimals as plus minus and square root of 150 is equal to about 12.25 so this is the required value of a in terms of square root or in terms of decimals we will try to find the value of b now to find the value of b what we will do here now to find the value of b we will multiply equation number first and equation number second and we will divide the product by equation number third so again let us multiply the left hand sides so we will multiply equation number first with equation number second and we will divide the product by equation number third so it implies first we will multiply the left hand side so the left hand side of equation number first is a b times left hand side of equation number second is b c divided by c a is equal to we will multiply their values which are in the right hand side so the value of a b is 100 times the value of b is 200 divided by the value of c a is 300 so again we will cancel these two zeros with these two zeros and here we will multiply these two numbers and we will divide the product by 3 so this will become and here we will do cancellation in the left hand side this c will be cancelled with this c and a will be cancelled with a so it will become b times b which is b square is equal to and it will become 100 times 2 is 200 divided by 3 
Now again to find the value of a we will take square root on both sides because there is square root b. So the square and square root will be cancelled. So b is equal to plus minus square root of 200 divided by 3 is our answer in terms of square root and if we calculate this value in terms of decimals so it will become plus minus 8.165 up to 3 decimal places so this is the required value of b here we will try to find the value of c now to find the value of c what we will do here for the value of c we will multiply equation number second and equation number third and we will divide the product by equation number first so here we will multiply equation number second with equation number third and we will divide the product by equation number first so again we multiply the left hand side so the left hand side of equation number second is bc times ca divided by a b is equal to now we will write their values which are in the right hand side so the value of bc is 200 times the value of ca is 300 and the value of ab is 100 so here we will cancel these two zeros with these two zeros and here 2 divided by 1 is 2 so this will become 2 times 300 so and here in the left hand side this b will be cancelled with this b and this a will be cancelled with this a so c times c will be left which is equal to c square is equal to and here 2 times 300 is left now the product of 2 times 300 is 600 so this will become c square is equal to 600 now again there is square over c so to find c we will take square root on both sides this square and square root will be cancelled c is equal to it will become plus minus square root of 600 and if we want to find this value in terms of for decimal number so it is about square root of 600 is 24.5 so this is the required value of c in terms of square root and in terms of decimals now here we will try to verify the, the value of a b and c in this problem are exact and correct or not so we will verify it here now to verify the value of a b we will use equation number first and to verify the value of c we will use equation number second so first we will try to verify the value of a b so for that we will use equation number first which is a times b is equal to 100 here we will substitute the value of a and b now the value of a in terms of square root is plus minus square root of 150 times the value of b in terms of square root is plus minus square root of 200 divided by 3 is equal to 100 now here positive time positive is positive negative time negative is positive so, so this time this is positive so this will become positive now here we will use a square root math property square root of a times square root of b which can also be written as square root of the product of these two numbers 150 times this number 200 divided by 3 is equal to 100 here we will simplify these two numbers so 3 times 1 is 3 3, three times 5 is 15 0 will become here so it will become 50 so next it will become square root of 50 times 200 now what is the value of 50, ti 50 times 200 50 times 0 is 0 50 times 0 is 0 and 50 times 2 is 100 so it is 1000 is equal to 100 now we can write 1000 in square form as square root of 1000 is same as 100 square is equal to 100 now here we will cancel square with square root so it will become 100 
is equal to 100. Now, since both sides are equal, so it means that the value of A and the value of B are exact and correct. Now, here we will try to verify the value of C. So, for that, we will use equation number second, which is BC is equal to 200. And here we will substitute the square root values of B and C. And equation number second is BC is equal to 200. Now the value of B in terms of square root is plus minus square root of 200 divided by 3. And the value of C in terms of square root is square root of 600 is equal to 200. Now again positive time positive is positive negative time negative is positive so it will become positive and we will rewrite these two numbers under one square root so this will become square root of 200 divided by 3 times 600 so here 3 times 1 is 3 3 times 2 is 6 so this will become 200 is equal to 200 here it is 200 times 200 so we can write this in square form as square root of 200 square is equal to 200 so here we will cancel this square with this square root so 200 is equal to 200 but since both sides are equal so it means that the value of b and the value of c are exact and correct so finally we can conclude and we can write that a is equal to plus minus square root of 150 which is equal to in decimals as plus minus 12.25 and the value of b which in decimals is equal to square root of 200 divided by 3 and in decimals it is equal to plus minus 8.165 and the value of c which is equal to plus minus square root of 600 in decimals plus minus it is about 24.5 so finally we can conclude that these three values of a b and c are exact and correct finally if you like this problem so don't forget to subscribe my youtube channel thanks for watching